What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a little try on haul review with the new Morphe 2 products. So pretty much a lot of stuff was sold out when I went to Ulta, but I picked up the brush set and the skin tint foundation and the cheek and lip mousse. So super excited to try these out. Morphe 2. I don't really understand the concept behind Morphe 2. I think it's just like a lighter, more lightweight um, line, I think. I think. I don't know, but I that's kind of the vibe I'm getting and it looks just so like I like how minimalistic like the packaging is and it's white. Um, usually there's packaging's black and it just it's cute. I if you know me, you know I like the minimal packaging, very simple. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be testing these things out today, um, and I'm really excited about the brushes. It comes with four brushes, and they're white. Love white brushes. Just love white everything. So I got a foundation brush. Ooh, it feels really good. I haven't got, honestly, I haven't got any brushes in a while. Only if they come in BoxyCharm. Ooh. I mean, I love Morphe brushes. I don't know why I'm so shocked, but loving this. So, and it comes in this cute little clear case. So really like that. So this is the Hint Hint Skin Tint Sheer to medium coverage and I got the color hint of toast medium with golden undertones so it's lightweight breathable formula hydrates smooths and blurs non como com com comment <laughs> oh my gosh non comedogenic non comedogenic wait why can't oh my god non comedogenic comment I'm gonna stop because I, it's at the tip of my tongue. Like I know the word, I've said it, I know it, but I really just cannot say it right now. Commodogen, com, commodogen, I, I'm done. And vegan, okay? So it says, <laughs> uh, keep it light and easy with this fluid tint that melts into skin while providing a naturally radiant finish. And it is one fluid ounce. So shake gently. Start with one to two drops and build your desired level of coverage. Apply using a synthetic sponge, a synthetic brush, sponge, or fingers. So I'm gonna go in with the brush that it comes with. This feels so good. I feel like it's gonna apply really well. Ooh, cute packaging, so cute. Oh wow, it's like, I don't know if you guys, you guys really can't see, I bet, but it is like liquid, like, like fluid, like, like water. So wait, it says shake, shake gently. Is this gently? Shake gently. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of nervous. I usually don't use like very liquidy foundations like this, but just going to, oh my gosh, so scared. I'm gonna put one, two, and three. Oh, wow. Okay, love this brush. And first reaction is I'm shocked at the coverage. I thought it would be way less um, coverage. It says sheer to medium, but I mean, I mean, it's definitely not full, but I'm, but I'm shocked at how much coverage it provides. This is like perfect for summer, um, like summer vibe. Like you just, like if you want to, ooh, ooh, ooh. if you want to put foundation on, I literally cannot put foundation on when I'm outside or when I'm outside, when I'm gonna be outside, like in the sun or something. I just, ooh, I need my skin to breathe and I do not want to clog it. I feel like it's like dripping off and then just, into my pores <laughs> when it's hot. So I personally can't, but if you want to use foundation and you're like going to the beach or you're gonna be at the pool or something, like let's say you're going to Vegas. Vegas probably isn't even open, but let's just say this would be a good foundation because you're going to the pools. 
Actually, I would definitely wear this to a pool party in Vegas because you do get ready. And Vegas was actually the last place I went before quarantine. And I swear, had I known what the world was gonna come to, I would have went harder. Because let me tell you, I'm kind of a low key grandma and it was a girl's trip. It was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to do another girl's trip. But I'm a low key grandma and I definitely, like honestly, I don't even know if I want to say this, but they took us to a table, right? Took us to this NFL player's table. He obviously gets a shit ton of alcohol, like the whole, like f basically firework show at the table. And you know, the lady just gives you drinks like nonstop. I had two drinks, two separate drinks. And by the end of the night, I fell asleep at the table. <laughs> Honestly, I just, when I've had too much to drink, I just knock out. So had I known the world was gonna be how it is now, I would have told the table lady, like, excuse me, ma'am, I cannot be drinking this much because I need to pace myself. Then the next night I actually didn't even drink because I was still hungover. Went to a pool party the next day, hungover went to um back to the club and then we ended up at french montana's table and the guy <laughs> why am i just letting all my secrets out the guy and how did we even get here we're talking about morphe too right now the guy like french montana's like people that were serving drinks the second you didn't have a drink a shot in your hand not even a drink a shot he's like here you go and i'm like I saved my one. He gave me one and I saved it because I'm like, no, 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 you're not giving me any more. So every time he'd be like, here you go, I'd be like, I still, I have one. Remember the last one you gave me? And they're all drunk, so they don't really know what's going on. So I was like, no, I have one, remember? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, take it, throw it behind me. I did throw a few behind me. And like, where we were, we were like on top, like it was like backstage and it was like up above. So like I threw, and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, these people are gonna kick us out. And yeah, it was really funny, but we didn't get kicked out and nobody knew. And he just really thought that I kept getting shots and drinking them. But anyway, had I known what it went. Actually, I did go hard. It's just, I can't go hard two days in a row. It's just, I, nope. I don't know how people do it. I really, really don't. But I just went in with a little bit of concealer, trying to keep it like natural, fresh. But I went in with, this is honestly one of my favorite concealer, well, pretty much is my favorite drugstore concealer. Maybelline Superstay Concealer. I'm in the color Light Medium 18. By the way, I really, really like this brush. And they don't have names, it just says Morphe 2. So, I really like that brush. Now we're gonna go in with just, okay, so this is really, really cute. It's a lip wonder tint cheek and lip mousse. So it's 0.12 ounces and it says, works wonders, this multitasking mousse gives you that perfect buildable wash of color on your cheeks and lips with just one swipe. So I got the color Wish. The color's just cute. Even on the packaging, they nailed it perfectly. Oh, cute. The packaging just has a big two on it. Super cute. Wow. So I'm going to go in with this brush. It's like the, um, there's two smaller brushes. This one I feel like I can do for the cheeks and then the other smaller one I can do for like a highlight, but this one fits perfect. Oh, obsessed. Oh gosh. Obsessed. You guys, this is really, really pretty. It is such a pretty shade and like such a light wash. Oh, wow. I really like this. Like I'm actually in love with it. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'm going to just speed through it because we want to focus on Morphe 2 products, not anything else really, um, except for my Vegas story. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to speed through it and then I will come back on and we will finish the video.
Okay, so now that I'm done with the rest of the face, I kept it just really simple and natural. We are gonna go in with the lip and cheek mousse on the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush that it comes with just to see. Oh. Yeah, definitely can't share this product with anybody because I just double dipped. I really like applying it with the brush that it came with. Okay, so I actually really like the way that this feels. The mousse. I don't... I thought I wasn't going to like the color on my lips because it's kind of too, like, pinky. But I'm not mad at it, actually. I think I like it. I don't know. I really like it on my cheeks. I know that for sure. But on the lips, it's like kind of too nude. It's just like a boom in your face. Um, or maybe I'm just not used to it. I don't know. But I really like it on the cheeks. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video testing out the new Morphe 2 products. I am very impressed, honestly. Morphe, I really always like everything Morphe comes out with, but I didn't think I was gonna like this stuff as much just because it's very like natural and lightweight and like if I wear makeup, I wanna just like wear the makeup, you know? I wanna like just put it on. Um, but I actually really like it and I'm very impressed. I like that this is, like I feel like I have coverage on my skin and I mean, it does say it's medium coverage, but I feel like, I don't know. I just, I feel like I have like full coverage on and I'm, very impressed with this. I did not think I was going to like the Wonder Tint cheek and lip mousse at all. I was like, mm, I'm just going to test it out, but I didn't think I was going to like it. Really like it. The brushes, bomb. So good. Really, really impressed with just the whole collection. I wish they had more for me to purchase, but they didn't. Everything was sold out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like reviews, let me know. And do not forget to subscribe down below so you can see when I post new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. I told my girl. You were bad girl, bad girl, bad girl. You were bad girl and your friends bad too.